Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how I do sensor cleaning for my camera Nikon D750. And you probably able to apply this tip for the camera in other brands as well. To do a sensor cleaning, I need some tools. The first two is a full frame sensor cleaning swap kit that I bought from Amazon. Because my camera is full frame, so I bought the full frame version. They do have for the APS-C, which is the crop version. So if your camera is the crop one, you can buy that one too. And I can put the link to this product down below the video so that you can pick up the right one for the camera from Amazon. The second tool is a blower and I use the rocket blower, which one is very powerful. It can blow out some of the dust on the mirror. And I put the link to this one down below as well. I need some glove to make sure that there's no sweat or got the fingerprint on the camera to protect the camera and a microfiber as well. This is optional. And I'm gonna put the link to all of the products that I use, the tools that I use down below the description of the video for you to easy to select. So the first step we're gonna do is remove the cap and then I'm gonna use the blower to blow all of the dust out of the mirror. The best position of the camera is facing down and then you just use a blower to blow off the dust. So that's the first step. The second step you're gonna do is using the built-in sensor cleaning feature of the camera. This one is available in my camera and I believe in other camera as well. And you can look up the manual to see if that feature is available with our camera. To start using the built-in feature, you turn on the camera, press the menu, and then there's an option right here, is clean emit sensor. So just press this one, and then select clean now. And then it's showing, okay. And when it's done, you finish the process to cleaning emit sensor using this viewing feature. So now the third step we do is a deep cleaning. Thus, we're gonna use the tools, the swap kit, and then we will clean the sensor, which is behind the mirror. So to do that, you need to lock the mirror up for cleaning, or you release the mirror in the open state so that the sensor can show up for you to cleaning. For my camera, which is D750 Nikon, you can select this feature, lock mirror up for cleaning, and I have another video to show you how to do this in details. You can check it out right here. When you lock the mirror up for cleaning, what the camera is gonna do is it's gonna open the mirror and then the sensor gonna showing up for you to cleaning. And like I mentioned in the other video, you need to make sure that the battery is full charge so that you are able to use this feature lock mirror up for cleaning. If the battery is low, the camera disable this feature and you're not able to use this. So before we lock the mirror up, let's unbox the tools, the sensor cleaning swap to see what's inside and we're gonna use this today to clean the sensor. This is inside the box. Let's see what we have. So we have the stick swap to see how many we have. I think we have about 10. And then we have the manual on how to use this one. So basically this one you can use with lens cleaning right here. You can use it to clean up the lens. Make sure that there's no dust and there's no like a squat or dust on that lens. And uh, you can use this with the sensor cleaning. So basically when you take the picture and you have some dust on the picture, especially when you took the picture with the clear blue sky and then you bump up 
the aperture to about f8 or f10 you will probably see the duct very clearly on the picture so this is kind of the manual on how to do the sensor cleaning and lens cleaning as well so we're gonna use one swap today so to get started i'm gonna wear the glove to make sure that my hand is clean with the camera and then we're gonna open this sensor swap it has been packaged very well so just open this one so this is the swap that you're gonna use to clean the sensor so now I'm gonna open the mirror and start cleaning the sensor menu and block mirror for cleaning start and then press the shutter button you're gonna hear a click sound now the mirror is open it's up and the sensor is showing you're gonna use this swap to clean it you can clean in two ways and that's it when you're done you can turn off the camera and then the mirror lock again you can put the swap on the microfiber for temporary when you look up at other place on the camera that you need to clean or when you're done you can put it back to the package and recycle it so that's it that's the step that i use to clean up the sensor using the sensor cleaning swap that i'm gonna put the link down below for you to select to draw either full frame camera or the crop camera and uh, just to make sure that when you do the sensor cleaning you do it very carefully and then slowly and carefully and then you can validate that step by taking another picture after the sensor cleaning to make sure that there's no dust in the picture no dust spot in the picture hopefully this tip gonna help you in cleaning the sensor and makes the photo post process easier. Thank you for the watching. Bye. Nếu các bạn thấy hay, các bạn hãy nhấn nút like, thích và subscribe, đăng ký để ủng hộ Easy Tech Class nha. Cảm ơn các bạn nhiều.